Good evening and salutations. Welcome to episode 80 of the Lead Save. It's been up and downiness. Uh, let's go through the results. Um, after the Dnipro draw, we then went on to. We've been having a few injuries, not nothing too heavy, but lots of players out for a week, two weeks. It's been really disruptive. But we got destroyed at home by West Brom because why not? Winter and Glan are getting the goals for us. Then we drew nil nil with Arsenal away. Fantastic result, especially because Winter got sent off for a second yellow in the 70th minute. Very happy with that. Next up, we lost away to Dnipro. Uh, Ricardo Gullard getting the only goal for them. And then we went on a bit of a winning spree. 3 0 at home versus Liverpool. Andre Ayu getting two and Glana getting one against his old club. Crystal Palace 3 0. Andre Winter hat trick. He's, he's been shit all season, to be fair. Don't know where that come come from, but I'll take it. And then we beat Trabs on Spore 1 0 away. Andre Ayu getting the goals. He's been playing pretty well, actually. <clears throat> and then um, we. We <laughs> beat Fulham away 3 2. Andre Ayu, Destro, and Glana getting the goals. Late winner for Glana. Very happy with that. And then we lost a newly promoted Norwich. Um, Zivkovic is on his, well, not debut, his second game. He's not started a game yet. Um, he will actually be starting today's game. But he did score a very good goal. So I'm happy with that. He's our record signing and he's been injured all season. So that's his first start. So today we've got a massive game and we're also playing Southampton. Uh, Massive because it's the last group game, and if you look at Group I, one moment, please hold the line. Um, you will see that we are third place, and we're playing Club Rouge, so we need to beat them. Simple as that. So let's get straight into it, shall we? As I said, um, I had a few injuries, minor injuries here and there. It's really just sort of disrupted the whole thing. Um. But playing well, uh, Galana settled in fantastically well. Um, 11 goals in 14 starts for him. Um, Winter's just got into a bit of form this season, thank you, thankfully. Like I said, Zivkovic is first start. He's, the sharpness isn't quite there, but enough. Um, <clears throat> everybody else has been doing fine. Interestingly, Joe Hart's playing shit. And Gl Mihalic, well, he's, he, he is playing shit now. He, was, he wasn't playing shit for a while. I don't know what it is. I just can't get a good goalkeeper rating. It doesn't seem to matter who I bring in. So, no idea what's going on there. Uh, but we'll we'll live with it. Just score more than them, I think. So we're going full strength because obviously we do want to qualify from the group. Um, I have, as you know, I've had winter for um, one and a bit seasons now. Bought him in the summer last year, and every single game he's played, he's played as an inside forward left. OK, um, he didn't know that position and I have him on training set to an inside forward left. He's barely getting there. He's competent, which is ridiculous. He should be like decent at it now, at least like accomplished. Right. Um, I had a look on the forums and there's actually a known bug for some players not quite getting if, if it says that if something like if they're almost at their potential, then they might not be able to learn a new position which is ridiculous but they're hoping to fix that so if you have that same issue with somebody just not learning a position then hopefully in the new patch soon they'll fix it that'd be nice because he's been playing there every game and i'm thinking i might just have to sell him <laughs> um you know getting a, a, an actual inside forward there so that's a shame but let's go on right zivkovic is first start of the season it's lost a little bit of there from the injury but we should get that back right then boys Let's do this. Need to win it. Shit or bus time. Um, okay. Club Rouge is going to lose this one. Leeds on a high. And home advantage should be enough to get them the victory. We're favourites. 4-7 to seven favourites. That's huge favourites. Okay, here we go, boys. We've been pretty shit in Europe, to be fair. Um, I've got a good squad. I'm just rotating. Uh, Rosende's just signed a new contract. Um, yeah, randomly I got linked with the Preston job, um, who are in the championship, um, which is weird. No big jobs, just Preston, apparently. Right. I'll state the obvious, that went well. 
um, passionate faith. That's what we're going for. Do it for Jesus. Do it for baby Jesus. All right, here we go, boys. Comfortable three nil victory, please. That's what I'm putting my money on. Light up my customary herbal cigarette because it's Sunday evening. There we go. Right. Come on, boys. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I hope everybody enjoyed a good weekend of football. We had the FA Cup this weekend. I had to sit through watching Liverpool unable to score. Um, oh, Benteke is just driving me insane. Just driving me insane. Right, to Zivkovic. Here we go. Seeing our man in action for the first time. His first start since his £51 million move. No pressure, son. Good ball in, though. Garner with a head. And it's 1-0. Simple goal for Garner. That's the first one with his head, I think. And it goes over to the Leeds fans. Oh, it's home. They're all over the place. Byram, the assist king. <laughs> he can never leave the club. Cushioned header. Byram can never leave the club because where all our assists are going to come from. Yeah, when it started going bad in Europe, I decided to bring a few because the first couple of games I played lots of the youth team there was a 16 year old a 17 year old I thought okay well I better play a few more um, of my first team and then carried on losing so Trabs and Spore we just scraped by on Byram again it's going to be an assist because it's Byram look at that <laughs> puts it on a plate for Galana I think it's his 250th game today I think maybe look at that look at that he smashes it in for no apparent reason come on boys let's get another one if you look at the games, like we've we haven't played particularly well. I'll show you the league table afterwards. We're about sixth place at the moment. The, the board only want top half still, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, it, although we've inconsistent results, we've actually been playing quite well. Like three of the four of the games we've lost, we've had more shots, more on target, more clear cut chances. So I just think you know we've got a lot of new players this season. Like too many, you shouldn't be doing this really. <laughs> um, so I'm um, so hopefully we're getting there with the four wins in the trot. The Norwich result was random, but four wins before that. So hopefully we can carry on that. Go on, Cookie. One Yama to Bernardo, who's now a Brazilian international, by the way. Zivkovic back to Bernardo. Through ball for Glana for the hat trick. Hits the keeper. Oh my God, Winter, steady on. Zivkovic with the corner. To the panning spot. Oh, Betancourt misses it. Goes over the bar by about a yard or a foot or six inches or 18 centimetres, whatever you want to call it. Um, comfortable, I can say. Keep it up, boys. So uh, last week at the weekend, we had the first episode of the Girlfriend Plays Liverpool or the Girlfriend Plays FM, Managing Liverpool. Uh, <laughs> If you haven't watched that, go check it out. Um, it, it's quite funny. She's never played. She's not a gamer. She's never played football manager. She listens to my ramblings occasionally when I'm talking about it. Um, and uh, it was a, it was a fun episode. I let her do all the signings. Thankfully, she didn't sell anybody because I thought she might just sort of strip the team of some ridiculousness. Um, but she did sign. Almost bought Shane Long for thirteen million. She then decided to buy. Peter Crouch for five million because she'd heard of him. That I think that was her reasoning. Um, and she bought, tried to buy Dirk Cout, the ex Liverpool player, back, um, but he didn't want to come. Bernardo outside left here to Taylor, whips a ball in. Oh, that's a penalty. That's got to be a penalty. <laughs> okay, guess not. Um, and she also bought some Duarte guy who's just like clearly not good enough for Liverpool. I did sort of say something funny in the comments on the video, but she actually reads that. But I know she doesn't watch these videos, so, we'll, so we can laugh about her in the videos. <laughs> Taylor, good ball in. That's a tap in again for Glana. 
three of the easiest goals you're ever likely to see. What a hat trick. How's Zivkovic doing? I'll make sure he's fit and ready. Yeah, playing well. Excellent stuff. Charlie Taylor's a bit knackered, so Mario Rui's going to get a rare game. Uh, Valverde's whinging about game time, so we'll give him some time. Good, through to the knockout stages at least. I think I think next season... Oh, I'm saying this now. This, this could all go horribly wrong. I think next season we can push for the title because I think we've got some great players in the season but like I said way too many um, so many new signings that come this summer I think you just one or two more just tweak it a little bit and uh, I think next season will be our uh, championship push I think Champions League would be fantastic this season we've had a, we had a bad start but we're picking up points now and now Zivkovic obviously back well, not back, he's just here because he didn't start. So, comfortable 3-0 win for the boys. Glana with a hat-trick. Two assists for Sam Barring because he's the king of the assist. Loving it, boys. Loving it. And we're going to get the draw. Bit of cash. Lovely. Bit more cash. Leeds aren't as good as they think they are. Pfft, bad loser. All right, odd to Southampton, who are mid-table mediocrity. Oh, we're about to hit. We're about to hit 500 subs, boys, which is brilliant. I've um, <clears throat> I was trying to work out. I don't know. If, do I tell you now? I'm trying to work out. <laughs> yeah, I I decided to. I wanted to do something for the subscribers, right? And most people do giveaways to get more followers or get more Twitter followers or something like follow me on Twitter and retweet my tweet and you'll get it to enter and I thought no no I'm not trying to get more followers that'd be nice but I'm trying to thank the people you guys that already did subscribe to me so what I'm going to do um, is let me pick a team because I can't do two things I don't need to pick a team um, let me wait until the game hang on hang on it's a, it's a good idea I promise worth waiting for um, Multitasking is just not happening. It's like three in the morning. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, come on, it's home game. Right, forget the Norwich result, lads. Just move on from that. Um, team played well. Winter goes back in, even though I just removed him because that's the cool, cool guy I am. Right. Uh, Bernardo's just a little bit knackered. Um, we do need to give some game time. Uh, the rest just looks Sammy Byron. He's just an assistant master. Four assists already this season. Just carrying on. He's just carrying on regardless. Look, he shouldn't be a top premiership player. <laughs> He's 29 now. Could be his final season. It's going to be a sad day. It's going to be a sad day when he leaves. Right, quickly get out of this way. Right, so as I was saying, I wanted to do something for the people that had already subscribed, not to try and get more followers and stuff. And the trouble is, what I would do is just pick somebody that's a random subscriber. And I thought, that'd be quite a cool way of doing it. But then I can't see all the subscribers because some have their set to private. I, I only can, out of the 500 people, I can see maybe 200 that don't have their set to private. So <clears throat> what I wanted to do was give it to the community so I thought what I'm going to do is the prize will be given to somebody that has commented on my videos okay so what it's gonna be is that I'm going to do a little random number generator and pick a random video that I made using the number generator and then pick do it again for how so let's say there's five comments on that video I'm going to then pick the random number um, and give them a prize. And well, I'm actually going to do it two prizes. And I thought I could give you a tenner. I thought really tenner. That's about as boring as it gets, isn't it? It's nice to have a tenner. Nobody's going to turn that. Down. Oh Jesus Christ! Good save, Mahalic. Um, but I thought that's a bit boring. So what I've done is I've got a couple of mugs made. I know this is silly, but it's fun. It's just a bit of fun. 
I've got a couple of bit of merch, as I think the cool kids say, don't they? Um, some Loki Doki mugs made. I haven't got them yet, so I'll I'll take I'll put up a photo or show you them on the, one of the videos. Um, and I'm going to give them away to two of the random people that comment on my videos. So the more, so if you've commented quite a bit, you've got a slightly better chance. But um, if you haven't ever commented on my video, you can still comment on this one. It'll be included. So leave a comment. Um, I, but I thought that was the best way to to give back to people that have really got involved in my community and got involved in the channel and supported me and stuff. Um, said how crap I am, a football manager, whatever it is. It's just I thought that would be a nice way to do it. So uh, that will be in the next couple of days. I'll do that video. I won't do a lot. I won't do a live draw. That's just boring and depressing as shit. Uh, but I will announce who is the winners and uh, get them to contact me for their addresses and stuff. And I will post them the first bit of Loki Doki merch. <laughs> um, they are quite cool. I order one for myself. So, I, so there's only it's a limited run. Oh no, that's a good ball, Berahino. Good. Fucking say, Malich, what's going on? Maybe the pressure from Joe Hart is making him play well. Um, yeah, so it's a limited edition mug. There's three in existence. Um, so I will keep one and you guys get the other two. I thought it was a bit of fun. You know, because when I'm like, when PewDiePie is looking at my sub subscriber count and being jealous, you know, in, in a year, <laughs> um, you know, you can say, you know, it's probably worth thousands of pounds to have that first bit of merch, you know. Oh, Byron almost scored a rare goal. Come on, boys. Deserve to be winning here. Cookie. Wanyama over the top to Taylor. Valverde. Lovely ball to Taylor. First time in. Zivkovic. Zivkovic. Get him there, son. That's a million pounds paid from the 50. So like I said, I will do another video on this. So leave a comment in the next couple of videos if you haven't already done. Well, do that anyway because you'll you get in you, for every single comment. You're basically getting one entry into the into the lottery. So, but don't spam. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Again, all my videos and comment a million times. I will delete lot all the comments if they're just spam. Um, and there has been a lot of comments. So just yeah, just don't spam. Don't be a dick. But. Um, yeah, probably haven't thought that through, but I will delete that sort of crap. <clears throat> but leave a comment, even even if you're just saying hi. I've been the sub for a month, like your channel, whatever. That's fine. Ah, oh, yes. Taylor with the assist. Glana with a nice another header, another rare header. We deserve this two-nil win. Make a cheeky sub, sub, subby wubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I said, that'll be happening in the next two days or so, whenever I get the mugs in. Well, we're, well I think I'm at 498 when recording this video, so um, fingers crossed in the next day or so, we should be into the 500s. But you can enter with a comment at any point up until I do the video. I'll even sign the mug. Well, that's ridiculous. Nobody's going to want my signature. That'll just decrease its value. Okay, forget the sign-in. But I will send it. Free of charge. Anywhere in the world. I don't care where you live. That's fine. I'll, I'll pay the cash. You know, it actually would have been cheaper just to give you 10 quid each. But <laughs> didn't think it through. But that's fine. Oh, good back heel. Glana, make some space. Valverde. Oh, that's unlucky. Blow up, right? Blow up. Nice. Nice. I was wondering, um, quickly before before we wrap up the episode, um, I don't know how much you guys are into other sort of YouTube -y stuff, but I um the Fine Brothers, you know, they're a massive YouTube channel, fourteen odd million subscribers. Um Made a video about like licensing out their React video content. I was thinking of starting doing a few like odd rants and reactions to videos. So or like shit going on in the news, maybe football, maybe totally YouTube related or random shit. 
but let me know if that's of interest to you. I might just do it on a different channel on my own, just ranting to myself. Oh, got a cheeky draw. How many teams are they? Okay, let's do that manually then. Genk. Austrian. Okay, here we go, boys. We are playing. Ooh. Oh, that's a, quite a nasty one. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. That's That could have been easier. Is there, I think there's a second round draw, isn't there? Is there a second round draw? Hello, Mr. Draw Man. No. I'm pretty sure there's a draw. I'm pretty sure. Members, memory serves me correctly. Any chance of a second round draw? No, fuck it. I'll tell you in the next episode. <laughs> right, there we go, guys. Guys, please like, subscribe, comment. You know the drill. And I will see you in the next episode. Love you all. Bye-bye.